everyone and welcome to my tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to get that skull galaxy look. So first of all I'm going to fill in the sockets of my eyes with a black circles and filling that in with black face paint and then setting it with black shadow. So to get that drippy effect I'm just mapping out the drip marks with black paint and then going in and filling that in so I know where they are on the face. So to do the nose, I followed the natural curves of my nose and I find this really helps to map it out and make it as straight and equal as possible. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to fill that in with black as well. So first of all I'm just mapping out all the black negative space. So now that's done I'm going in with a white face paint and mapping out roughly the face and then I'm going to go in with a smaller detailed brush to go round all the black so it's much more sharp. So now to make the sockets of the eye stand out a bit more so it looks like the drippingness is coming over from inside the socket, I'm just adding some white. So I'm adding a bit of white and then blending it out and I'm just building up this with layers. So to get the sides of the skull and the teeth, I've just cleaned it up with a cotton bud to map it out and then fill it in with black. I've done it this way because if you add the black on the white then it goes grey and I want it really dense and black so this is the best way that i found to do that. And I'm just blending it towards the mouth area to add some shade and depth. Now I'm just colouring in the inner of my lips black so you can't see any pink. And then I'm going to be mapping out the teeth. I'm following my natural teeth lines to do this. I found that's the best way to make realistic teeth. And now I'm just mapping out the teeth. I'm doing sort of triangle shapes. When I got to this part, I then decided to widen the mouth. I wanted more teeth, so I've just cleaned up the black and I'm adding white in the areas and shading it back in. I'm just extending the teeth lines here. So again, I'm just mapping out the teeth and then going in and doing triangles to get that realistic teeth shape. And I also blended the top of the teeth to make a gum look because obviously teeth don't just float, they have to be stuck somewhere. So I've just done that with a blending brush. So now I'm going to be adding some more depth and shade to the skull. So I'm starting off with the eye sockets. I'm just making a bit of a ridge so it makes it stand out and look more 3D. And then I'm going to be going in with some brown eyeshadow to create some shadows and ridges because if you look at a skull, it's not flat. I've said this in a previous tutorial as well, but it's not flat, there are bits that poke out and obviously bone structure, so it's really important to create them shadows when you're doing a skull. And I've also just shaded in the drippy bits so they look more 3D. And now I'm just popping a bit of white paint in between the shadows just to make it pop a bit more, and then just creating some temples and filling that in with black. So I decided to go over the black drippy areas with a white shadow to create more of a bright feature when I put the coloured shadows on. So this just makes it stand out more. So I'm using the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and just using a mixture of blue and the purples and pinks and then going in with the Cosmic Metals palette to add some shimmer and shine. So now I have the teeniest amazing task of doing lots and lots of stars. So I'm using the NYX Liquid White Liner to do this and it did take forever, you need a lot of patience. But the results were amazing and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. So just keep with it. And then just add some shooting stars and some bigger stars to make that 3D effect. So now I wanted my skull to be a bit different, I didn't want it to just, just be a skull so I'm adding glow in the dark paint to the teeth and the stars. I'll also do this on my chest area as well. And there you go, you can see it glows in the dark. 
<laughs> so now I'm just doing the chest area, so I'm just drawing out all the bone structures, so your spine and your rib cage, and then I do arm bones as well. I'm just using a nude lip liner to do this. I find it easier to use a nude pencil than going with black or grey because then it's a bit harder to cover up. But I found with nude it's a lot easier to cover up. As you can see now I'm just going in with the white paint that I used on my face to create them bones. And I started off just testing out if the pink shadow on my skin alone would stand out and it did. So now I'm just going in and I'm just making the bones a lot bolder. So I'm just doing a black eye line with the black paint and then going in and doing some shading around the edges of the bones. And then I just continue using the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and mixing the blues, pinks and purples and just dotting them anywhere really and blending it out to create that galaxy space look. Now I'm just painting the edges of my shoulders and arms black because I didn't want to do huge bones so I just want to black out the edges a bit and then again I had the amazing fun task of doing all the tiny stars. I only did this mainly on the centre of the chest piece and then towards the outer side I did just do splats of paint so I got some face paint on a brush and just kind of splatted it everywhere and then just went over now and then with the liner just to create bigger stars. I found this a lot easier and quicker than doing the whole of my chest in eyeliner dots. And again just doing some shooting stars and bigger stars. And then going in with the Cosmic Metals palette again, just dabbing some shimmer and shine in places and then going in with a wet glitter glue and then going over the top with chunky glitter. And that is how I created my Glow in the Dark Galaxy Skull. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to click the thumbs up and click subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.